All right, I, I made the whole video and I messed it up, so it's, it's quicker than me trying to cut video to try to make it again. Um, what did I say? I said that I ne I didn't think that this, this could happen. I didn't think that it would be this bad. I I, I sit there and I told you uh, I made a video before the the Miami game because I thought we would win the Miami game. I haven't listened to the television at all, so I haven't uh, um, listened to all the 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 announcers talking about how good Dallas is and all that kind of stuff. I told you all this stuff before, just so we wouldn't think that we were going to be this 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 over the top football team. However, I did not think that this could happen. I did not think we would get beat by this team this bad. I did not think Tony Romo would pay this bad in this game. I didn't think Tony Romo would go get hurt and possibly not come back for the rest of the season. I even think, thought if we lost this football game, then I was not going to go to trip out because. We have two games versus Washington, and if we win those two games versus Washington, it'll put us back in a, in a good spot if we can win those other games also. So there's a, there was a lot of still things positive, even if we lost this football game. But they killed us. <coughs> Tony Romo, something I used to attempt, uh, talk to DC Fanatic about <coughs> before he passed, I'm sorry, I'm sick. Before he passed away, I'm glad I remembered everything from the video. <coughs> but... We have been running the same offensive scheme since Wade Phillips was hired. Since Bill Parcells was let go or resigned or left or whatever happened with Bill Parcells. Ever since Bill Parcells left Valley Ranch, Jason Garrett has been running this offense. Why is this offense not clicking at this point? Why? Because it's obvious when, when Romo went down, I did not think we would lose every single game. I did not think it was that bad. I did not think, of, but we lost everyone. And now he's come back and this happened. It's like something's really wrong with this offensive scheme because Luke Keekly or Luke Keekly's Madden user just ridiculously played us like a fiddle. I mean, he just figured out all the route combinations, and that's all he was doing. He was like, no slant, go this way, picking it off. The first interception, they figured out our route combinations, and that's all they were doing. It was like, okay, this person's going there, this person's going there. Let's shut off that, that, that quick pass and get to Tony Romo. And they did it. And they did it. So I, 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 I don't know what, if, if they're doing that, that's a blueprint for other teams. That's, a blueprint, that's, that's definitely how Washington played us last year. Uh, when they were sending blitzes to Tony Romo like crazy and playing, playing that, that front and those quick passes. So I don't know. I don't know what the future holds for this football team. I don't know. Like I said, I did not expect anything this bad. I did not expect that Tony Romo might be done for this season. I, that wasn't a hard hit, guys. If he got hurt from this hit, then he had no business back in this football game. That didn't look like when, 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 when he got initially hurt in Philadelphia, Hicks power drive Romo. It was an obvious like, duck, like drive into the ground. Thomas Davis did not do that right there. That was a normal tackle. And if Tony Romo is going down with normal sacks, then I, we got to look out for a quarterback soon. So now I, I send the video. I, I don't know what we're going to do at quarterback now. I don't know what we're going to do with running back because we sure do need one. We do. We, we need to run the game to take pressure off the quarterback. Whoever's going to be, if it's not going to be Romo, we really need to pressure off whoever we're going to put back there. We see that Dez is, Dez might not be the person that we, we thought he was when he was arguing and could have stopped that first touchdown, and he's too busy arguing with Josh Norman. That rubbed me so, such the wrong way, it's ridiculous. So, I, I have no clue of what's going to happen moving forward. I have no clue. There's, there, there's, it, it, it depends on Romo. Uh, I know this happens with Romo. This is, this is what had, wasn't discussed throughout the week when, you know, Tony Romo was being depicted as, as our savior or whatever. He does have these games also on, 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 the, on the main stage that, that people tend to forget about. And this is one of his worst, if not the worst, game that he's ever played in his life. And, and, and... If he, is he going to come back from it? I don't know. So I'm so discombobulated right now. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go. Like I said, when Romo went down early with Philadelphia, I thought that 
you know, if we get him back, we will have a chance to maybe do something. If not, we'll get a good draft pick for next year and come back strong next year. But now I'm worried about next year, man. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think we. If if, if he if he goes down and hits like that, he can't be a quarterback. Plain and simple. All right, guys. Holler at you. Peace.